So another failed experiment. Um, I tried lawn without header board and this is probably, oh yeah, this is a five-year-old lawn. So you can kind of tell where the edge is and where I planted some other stuff, but you also can tell that this grass has creeped into the planting bed, not what I wanted, um, but now I know. So I had seen other designers not use header board and with these um, fescue grasses that everybody uses now, um, I'm very clear that these things creep if they have a way to do so. They're not really aggressive, but they do it enough to do what you're seeing now. So um, I need to put header board in here and then go clean out these creeping grass roots out of my planting bed. This is Epic Lawn Header. Um, it's 2x4 dimension. It is a recycled plastic material and uh, we use this a lot for lawn edging. And uh, I like it because of its flexibility and more importantly its longevity. You know a lot of the, we used to use bender board and it always rotted out eventually. And so this was, this came along at least 10 years ago and uh, we use it quite a bit. Um, there's also a product or, or a, a type that is half the width that you see here and I don't recommend that. It's so narrow that uh, A, it, it provides no support for the wheel of a mower and it also um, is just more flimsy. You see these nice smooth lines that you see here. The other one is so lightweight that you get a lot of uh, wiggle in the um, the curves that you lay out so it's much harder to kind of get a clean line with that thinner gauge so I recommend the 2x4 they also have a 2x6 dimension that you can use if you have a deeper application like you're using it to contain um, bark or gravel um, in a play area or something like that so um, that's epic 2x4 oh so the most important thing about this is when an installing it you need to stake it every three feet or more so that it won't move on you because it's plastic and it responds to heat and cold it's going to shrink and expand de depending on the temperature and if you don't anchor it well it will move all over the place on you so they sell stakes with this that are um, the plastic but most of the contractors I deal with say they prefer to use um, redwood or cedar stakes. So that's my recommendation on that is just make sure you stake it well so it doesn't lift up out of the ground when it's expanding and contracting due to the temperature. And that's Epic 2x4. You can see it here used for a little bed running around the edge. They're about to put the sod down on this project so you can kind of see the layout of how these, these planting beds have been defined. This is an example of the um, thinner version of Epic uh, Plastic Lawn Header and this is actually a great example of why I don't use it. Do you see how this is split right where the stake is? So the d landscaper put a screw through there which is a good way to do that but this material is brittle when it gets older and the screw created a weak spot. That combined with uh, what I said before is that this product expands and contracts in the, depending on the temperature. This was braced against the uh, concrete here. It couldn't move. It expanded and it popped it right up out of the ground. You also had the added pressure of a slope change and um, all those factors came together and did this thing in. So it started to pop up out of the ground. The stake, <clears throat> they didn't put enough stakes in to keep it anchored well. And then the weak spot became the screw through the product. Uh, I just don't recommend this product at all. A uh, manufacturer may not like that, but essentially it's so wimpy that it waggles all over the place. You see how uneven this line is here? If I've got the 2x4 dimensional piece, um, it has more rigidity and it's not going to have all that uh, movement in your line. You're going to get a smoother line. Secondly, this tree root is lifting this piece up. You see this right under here? So that's what lifted this guy also. Just had a lot of factors working against it. 
Um, these are the stakes that the manufacturer provides. It's the same material, but um, you know they only put one in every five to seven feet from the looks of it, and that's just not enough. It, it anchored a lot of this, but it also keeps it, it doesn't keep it from moving around as much as you would like. So um, that's what I can tell you about that product as a lawn header. Highly recommend the two by four dimension, but I do not recommend this half inch by four inch product. It's just not strong enough.